So, Coach, it's been a while since we che last checked in with you. How are, how are things going so far during the summer? Um, things have been actually great, pleasantly great. Um, the girls are working out really hard on the court for our two hours a week, and then they're also really putting in a lot of time in the uh, weight room and on the track. So I think overall as a team we're getting stronger in all aspects of life, physically, mentally, emotionally, and uh, what's the fourth one? <laughs> spiritually? Did I say spiritually already? One of those four. So, yeah, we're, we're getting stronger. See, obviously I'm not mentally. I'm getting weaker. It's the old age kicking in. You, you've put you put together a, a really a really solid assistant coaching staff. Uh, what what can you tell us about each of them? Um, well, first off, Trisha Renevich uh, comes in, has a great deal of recruiting. Uh, I think more importantly, she's able to put up with me. Um, her and I have a very good relationship. It, it works really well, and I think her tenacity and her work ethic really brings something something that is is going to push up push us up to that next level. Um, I think. Uh, Obviously, Jordan Smith coming in and staying here, you know, Hall of Famer, the Hoff, is, uh, you know, is key for us because the girls absolutely love her. She is Pepperdine. It's, it's been a great, it's been great to keep her here and be part of the staff, and she really compliments me as a coach and as a staff, so I, I think what she brings is second to none. And then Mallory Wynn comes in from Pitt, and uh, I mean, that, that's kind of big time, and this She's won four CIF championships in high school. She's played at the ACC, the Big East. Um, you know, her recruiting, her what she brings in for recruiting for us um, is really going to take us to that next level, bringing in the players that we are bringing in, um, getting the interest from players and, and club coaches and high school coaches. So really, she comes in and she brings in one of the most important aspects that we needed to strengthen. Um, so she, she comes in and is like a force. She's knocking everybody out. So it's good stuff. What has been what has been your most pleasant surprise uh, dur during the summer so far? Uh, most pleasant that everybody gets along with each other, you know, on the staff. Everybody, it's it, we complement everyone or we complement each other very well. I think the other thing that I'm really happy with is seeing that the girls have bought into what we're bringing, um, and the work ethic is really stepped up uh, in the classroom and on the court. And I think those are the two most important things right now um, with this program. So we're excited. They're just taking that extra effort. They're getting out of their comfort zone, um, and they're taking that extra step. And so it, it makes me feel good. It makes the staff really happy. You know, obviously we have a long way to go, um, but but they're doing what they're taking the steps necessary to to be a WCC championship team. One of your first uh, re recruiting gifts was a was a transfer from Arizona State. What can, t what can you tell us about Haley Videkas? What she brings to the basketball team is second to none. Uh, hard worker, great shooter great knowledge of the college game. Um, you know, she obviously was well coached at ASU. So for her to come in, help our young players out, push our more experienced players really is something you, you, you can't ask for with it. You know, what she does for us is she takes us to that next level. So she was really big. That was a big signing for us. What are your top five destinations to take recruits when they come on campus for a visit? Um, well, let's see. Let's go through this. We go to Paradise Cove. I think that's huge. Um, Duke's is one of my favorites. Um, we do Marmalade Cafe, always always a fan favorite. Um, we do the, uh, the Promenade, and I think the best place out of everywhere is Heroes Garden. Um, I think you can put the movie stars and Duke's and all that good stuff, but Heroes Garden, just whatever it is about it, it just has that spiritual nature. It just once you get recruits up there and their families, it's it's a wow moment, and uh, it wows me every time we still go up there, and I go up there quite a bit. So it's uh, I think that's that's the number one spot.